when did I realize I could paint? I guess um, I was about three years old when I became conscious of living. Uh, my mother was an interior designer, and I think I, I just got it on us because she had the talent. My dad had the talent too, he just never pursued it. You know? But um, I think it was like three or four years old, and I just started drawing all the time. And Mom gave me pens and paper. I believe art has always been for everybody. Uh, everybody couldn't always afford it. I mean, the wealthy always bought art for you know portraits because that, that was only that was their photography a hundred years ago. Um, up, in, up until one hundred years ago, that was the photography of the day. That's what how people preserved images. Art is for everybody. Everybody can afford it. Uh, everybody, everybody definitely appreciates it. And, and you know, and, and like the old adage, art is very subjective. You know, my art might not be somebody else's art, but. There's always art for somebody. A stick figure is somebody's masterpiece. The type of art I create is very eclectic, I think. Uh, whereas I, I put different genres into it, uh, different styles, i.e. surrealism, uh, realism. My portrait work is very realistic, almost photogenic. If you look at my, uh, my jazz series, uh, that I do very, I do a lot of abstract work, uh, surreal. Uh, art elevates the mentality, it elevates the intellect, it elevates the spirituality of an individual. Um, I mean, it's, it's been scientifically proven that art stimulates. My vision for my artwork is hopefully the world will see it at large. Everybody will get a chance to see it. Like the gospel. <laughs> How do you get young people interested in art? I think, I believe people are innately, you know, like I said, appreciative of art. And how do you get them interested? They're already interested. They watch MTV. That's a form of art. The Artist. Uh, the Artist is one of my pieces, and it's, the whole name, title is called The Artist, in parentheses, The Art of Love. And what it is, it's a woman, and she's sitting in a love chair. There's a heart, it's a black heart, and she's sitting in the love chair, and the chair's backwards, and she has paintbrushes in her hand. And she's painted two lovebirds on this papyrus paper. And what we see is that the birds have come to life, and they've actually left the page and they're living to the side of the, uh, the painting. What it is, the inspiration was from Greek mythology, Pygmalion and Galatia. Pygmalion was an artist, and he sculpted this statue of this woman named Galatia. He fell in love with the statue, and uh, according to Greek mythology, the statue came to life by way of, I believe, Cupid's arrow. And the, the moral of the story is, is that he loved so much is that it, the art came to life and that's what I was trying to make indicative of this particular painting. She loved so much that her art came to life off of that paper. But if you look at the painting closely, uh, her paintbrushes are hanging in her hand in the, the sign of the cross, which is the real meaning is that the true power of her love was from the love of Jesus Christ through her. And that's what made the birds come to life, made her art come to life. Up until we die, we're always gravitating towards art, i.e. advertisements on the road, you know, you know, billboards, television, uh, motion pictures. It's all advertisement. It's all art. Where do I see this new direction for my artwork taking me? Worldwide, global. Uh, hopefully in every market, in every household, on every laptop, on every screensaver. I hope everybody on the planet sees my work and appreciates my work. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, man. Okay. We can cut that at first part in. Um, like I said, it's been proven. Uh, Baby Einstein. You're going to try me out edit now. We're going to start from the beginning. <laughs> You're going to be editor and director all the time. <laughs> I like this stuff, though. It's last. It's happening. I like this. All right, cool, cool.